the formidable robot. I'd be willing to bet money that you have at least in some way heard of the annoying orange. One of the pinnacles of internet culture. Although the show concept has evolved much past what it once was, it still holds up in terms of fame. It's pretty clear that it has come a long way on the internet. And with that, there are things people make based on it. Like what I encountered. Back in the mid-2010s, I remember I was blankly scrolling through YouTube watching random videos to cure my boredom. Considering the time period, it shouldn't be that hard to grasp that I had searched annoying orange into the search bar. That was when I came across a certain video. Its title, although I'm probably a little off here, was something along the lines of, annoying orange if it wasn't fucking stupid. The amount of spite in the title was something to behold. Its thumbnail had a stock image of annoying orange with a giant red no sign over it to the right, while on the left being pointed to by an arrow was an image of a regular orange that had been hue shifted to be pink or magenta. I was immediately confused by why the thumbnail was the way it was, and so I decided to watch. The uploader's name was something along the lines of, The Happy Magenta, and their PFP was the hue shifted orange from the thumbnail. The description was just the uploader glazing over themselves and viciously ripping into the original annoying orange property. The video itself is what made this so interesting. The video opened with what the original annoying orange video opened up with, but instead of reading the annoying orange, it read, the happy magenta, in magenta colored text. The backgrounds used were that of actual annoying orange videos. We open up with pair hopping into frame, before staring at something off screen we cannot see with a confused expression. We cut to what it was that pair was looking at. This strange doppelganger of the actual orange. Once again, he was hue shifted to be pink or magenta. His face looked as if it were scribbled on with pencil. The way they did Pear's face was by taking Pear from one of the original annoying orange clips and editing his face off, then adding their own face on top of it. Cut back to Pear. Pear speaks in a confused tone. Ah, uh, who were you? The strange fake version of Orange replies. I am the happy magenta. His face doesn't move, as again, it's drawn on with pencil scribbles. His voice is calm sounding while still excited. Pear replies. Okay then. Do you know where Orange is? Orange does not exist. Orange never existed to begin with. Magenta's voice now sounded stern and serious, for whatever reason. What are you talking about? Stop talking about Orange. A pause before Pear continues. I don't even blame you to be honest. He sucks- Orange does not exist. Pear sighs and speaks up again. Fine, whatever. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for Orange. No. Pear rolls his eyes and scoffs, before staring off into the distance. There's a lack of any interaction before Magenta speaks again. Everything is so funny. I am so happy to be here. Pear replies. Good to know, man. Magenta speaks again. How is your day going? Fine, I guess. More lack of interaction. Hey, uh, what are you, like, supposed to be? A magenta. Right. Once again, a pause. Things are better now. Pear would look at Magenta, confused. What are you talking about? I made it better. I genuinely have no idea what you're saying, dude. Pear looked as though he was trying to ignore Magenta. Magenta kept talking. I fixed this place and I made it good. Everybody can lead better lives because everything is good now and everything is good now and everything is good now. What does that even mean? It's okay. Magenta responded in a reassuring tone. What the hell are you getting on with? Pear was only becoming more and more confused by the second. No worry. Magenta replied in a calm voice. Pear didn't even bother to respond, but just stared at Magenta with a confused face before looking back to where he was before. Magenta would remark something. You don't smile enough. Pear responded. Excuse me? I said you don't smile enough. 
Well's a bad weirdo. You should smile more. Shut up! Can you try doing that for once? You will smile more. Magenta changed it from a suggestion to a demand, now with the stern voice from earlier. Knock it off! You will smile- Shut up! Oh my god! Magenta started violently screaming. You will smile more. You will smile more. You will smile. 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 Shut up! Stop fucking talking! Here I thought Orange was insufferable. Orange does not exist. Zip it! Smile. 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 Screw this! I'm leaving! Magenta suddenly stopped screaming and went back to the stern tone. No. The image of Magenta is visibly shaking left to right, shaking in place. What the hell do you mean no? I'm leaving. The camera doesn't cut to Magenta, but we can hear what's happening off screen. The sickening sounds of the rending of flesh and loud splattering, with the sound of bones cracking and loudly breaking. <coughs> Howling guttural inhuman screeches from Magenta would accompany these sounds. Pear's face would become one of pure terror. His mouth would hang agape, and his eyes would open extremely wide. Sudden deafening silence. The noises come to a halt. There's a blank pause, before we finally cut back to Magenta. Magenta looks very, very, different. You can't make out the details on the asset, as it now just looks like one giant colored smidge. He had this downwards drooping jaw that extended downwards out of frame. He had vacant empty eye sockets that extended upwards. Inside the mouth and behind the vacant sockets was nothing but pure void. Around his facial features was this vibrant red blood leaking from the sockets, destroying any illusion that this thing was actually a fruit. The background is hue shifted to be pink and magenta, to fit with this character of the latter color's name. More deafening silence, before magenta speaks in a quiet hushed tone. Smile for me. <laughs> The sound of Magenta violently cackling could be heard, as the demented warped form of Magenta would stretch and convulse in place. <coughs> Sounds of pear screaming in horror are heard, before the scene is abruptly cut off. The next scene we cut to is of pear. His mouth is pried into a smile with binder clips and needles. The needles are pinning into the corners of his mouth, stretching his grin, and stabbing into the bottom lip to the surface of the table. His teeth are clamped shut. His eyes are darting around the room, and you can hear his heavy breathing. One frame passes, and Perry is dead. Within a frame, Perry is molded and decayed, with one of his eyes being dislodged from its socket. There is no audio. That is where the video ends. I remember that my first action was to check the comments, which were all confused about what they had just watched. It turned out that the video I had just watched was the only video uploaded to the user's channel. No matter how hard I search, the video never comes up under any circumstances. Not even any posts of people claiming they saw the video. Nothing. If anybody thinks they've seen this video, please comment below. To anybody reading, please attempt to search for this video, and boost this post up in popularity so there's more of a chance this video is found.